Well, hi there. It is Friday, June 19th, Juneteenth, 2020. Um, journal 357, T plus 445, I think. I'm starting to lose track again. <laughs> um, and, and really an observation because, quite frankly, I'm exhausted. I was exhausted yesterday after coming home from um, what turned out to be a full day at the City of Hope. Um, visits for blood work, my oncologist hematologist and um, then a, a, my gastro intestinal doc out there dealing with some uh, growth graft versus host disease issues in my esophagus and on the inside of my cheeks and uh, then again you know and the ride home which was is long at the very very least but, you know, those, those days, especially uh, in, an, in an, an age of COVID-19, when protocols are so different and um, security measures are so much more stringent, are exhausting. And then to follow that up uh, with an early morning appointment with my orthopedic uh, doctor for uh, my uh, shin, and then subsequently... Um, an appointment with my dermatologist, you know, you wind up having four appointments in two days uh, with four different doctors. And in this case, in this case, followed by hanging out um, at the dermatologist's office, because just as a coincidence, um, our daughter and our eldest granddaughter had a point, both had appointments subsequent, immediately after mine, subsequent to mine. And uh, I'm not sure how my daughter thought she was going to be able to manage that, especially her appointment for a full body scan with, you know, Sadie with her daughter in tow. But it turned out, you know, uh, to be really fortunate in many respects that I was there and I was able to help out. Uh, because Sadie had some issues she had to get taken care of. And when you're six years old, any issue that requires a shot is a huge issue. And uh, I, don't, I don't know when medical visits became a full-time occupation, but they certainly have. And, uh, you know, just looking at the schedule for the next number of appointments that are coming up in July, um, it's prodigious. I mean, it's staggering in, in some instances. Uh, and, and quite frankly, they're all good. I mean, I'm thrilled to death that there aren't more problems than there are and that I'm doing as well as I am and that I can handle this and that I'm able to go to the doctor and get these things taken care of. But I mean, going to the dermatologist and, you know, after a lifetime of working outside in the sun without sunblock and having things, you know, either frozen off or burned off or cut off or is not exactly a walk in the park either. Not a, and that's the most benign, I think, of all of the appointments that I've, that I've had so far. So, to those of you who are younger, who may be watching, take this stuff seriously. Wear gloves, wear eye protection, wear foot protection. Uh, put sunblock on every morning. Make it part of your ritual. And uh, and try to go ahead and, and uh, function uh, as if you were going to try and make this body last forever. Because as far as you're concerned, or as far as anybody else is concerned, that's exactly what it has to do. Um, in the meantime, stay well, take care, stay home, stay safe, stay focused. Um, be back as soon as I can. Bye-bye.